it remembered in the set theory we had the uh, difference that we just were looking for uh, specific conditions like we just interested in the one table and not the other table uh, basically we have two type of the outer joints uh, we have left joint and right joints the left joints represent um, because the first table uh, after the from clause is the one that we specify we call uh, a table uh, left table for example in the this uh, syntax we have two tables uh, names for example the first table and then we have another table name here because this one is a left side table we call this one table left and then we have this one is a on the right side of the join we call this one is a right table so we have two table two kind of the outer join right and left uh, the syntax for this right and left join is that we have uh, similar to the inner join we have uh, select a statement uh, we can have a distinct as a optional keyword and uh, several value expression and then the join is similar to the inner join is conduct on the in the from class so we have a table name and then we have a, we can have a correlation name and then the type of the join which is either left or right and then the outer is a optional keyword then a join which is a, a mandatory and it's required so we can have a left outer join or left join or similarly right outer join or right join both right join and then we have the table name we can use a correlation for the table name uh, and then the, we can have a on or using that on specify the search condition and the using specify the column names that we are using so so this is a syntax uh, for left and right join so let's look at the concept of the left outer join uh, in the left outer joins table one is we call the left table and table two we call the right table so in the table one when we apply the left join we get all the results from the table one and matching result in the table 2 so uh, it becomes a green area that we have here so basically we are getting all the result in the table 1 and the matching result that we have in the table 2 let's go talk about the example that we had this is a very small example and represent how this outer join is working for example remember we had the faculties we have a seven faculties uh, and they have last name first name and they have a department ID you can see the faculty with ID of the three doesn't have any department ID and you can see the fourth faculty we have a ID that is not available in the department table and also we have a department a three that there is a no department if we apply the uh, left join on the faculty and the department uh, we should get uh, all the table of the faculty plus this information is added to the table so for example if I write similar way so, so the we are selecting the faculty IDs last name and first name and department no, name by left joining the faculty and the department on the department ID of the both tables we are gonna get something like this you can see that all the faculties we have seven faculties uh, they have the IDs represented plus the department that they are came they are coming you can see that for example for the faculty with ID of the four uh, the result under the department name is uh, null 
so we can see that uh, we don't have any value for here so it has been known also the faculty with the idea of the three it, it was null in advance in before it, in the original table we had null value for this table for this record so you can see that we have a null here so basically uh, it brings up the, all the faculty tables by and the result that matches in the department for example department 2 we have value so we are going to have math here and department 3 we don't have any value here so this is going to be empty and because this is empty too we are not going to have any uh, because this is null we are not going to have any value here either and then this and we don't have any department 10 so this is null in uh, again and uh, uh, we have value for department 4 3 and 2 so that's going to be in the result so this is a uh, result of the outer join that we have and then uh, we have right outer join basically it's uh, similar to the left join except that here we have a table all the result from the table 2 and the result that they have a matching in the table one so if we change the situation of the position of the table one and two we can uh, use a left join here so if I put table two in in the left side of the table one then I can use a, a left join and uh, get a similar result but for <coughs> uh, again uh, in the right join we are going to get all the result in the table 2 plus the matching values in the table 1 based on the search condition that we have so let's have a let's back to the previous example if we apply the right join so department is a right join so you can see that uh, uh, here we have uh, department one two three four so all of the values that they are in this range they are going to be repeated so uh, we we will have the this faculty by idea of the one idea of the two is going to be in their search result but because this one doesn't have any ideas will be excluded because it doesn't have any matching value and then also this faculty with the department ID of the 10 because it doesn't have any match here it's going to be excluded but the rest is going to be in the final result so basically we are going to have uh, we check each of the department ID that we have in the department with the department ID in this table and the result that they match uh, is going to be in the result so you can see that we have mm, math, art, and business. Even though the business is not repeated here, we can see that it has. Uh, we have a result. We can see this department in the final result. So we have all the values in the right tables plus the matching result in this uh, in the left table. So this is a basic concept on the right and the left join so it's very important that we specify what kind of the join we are using otherwise the result is going to be very different here we have right join but you, you already see the left join and comparing the result is very different so right join and left join is very important that which one you are using So let's have one more example about the left uh, outer join. Uh, the question is that we are looking for the all customers that they have made any order and other customers that they did not order. So basically we are looking for all the information of the customers regardless of the whether they have been ordered anything or not. So here we can join the customers left join with the orders on the 
based on the customer ID. So that is, we can write this example. The answer for this example would be uh, select star all the columns that uh, we select from the customers table and we represent the customer by alias name C left join by or to the orders table and we represent by alias O and uh, on the customer ID of the table customer is equal to customer ID on the table order so if we do that we are going to get result uh, like this so you can see that order number uh, so, uh, you can see for just one customer we have several orders and uh, here you can see that for one customer we don't have any order that means we are answering uh, the left join is the correct answer for the question <clears throat> so the nature of the question and understanding the relation of the two tables are very important in this case and then another syntax that we have is a union uh, union uh, is the combining the result of the two select statement uh, they have to we have two kind of the union um, one of them is that union and union all in the union all the duplicate results are removed and we keep only one but in the union all we keep all the duplicated rows so that's the difference between the union and union all uh, one more important thing is that in the union the number of the columns of the two or more results that we are joining together it should be mad um, either both side of the union should have the same number of the columns and these columns they should have the same data type that's very important so these two condition is uh, very important that we have to use another uh, uh, set operation that we have is uh, outer full outer joins that for uh, we have in this uh, van diagram so we are looking for the all the result of the table one and two and their combination so we are looking for all the information from both tables mysql does not uh, support this uh, uh, full outer join but uh, we can combine left and right join using the union so if we want to have this full outer join we can write uh, uh, we can uh, have a right join and a left join and then combine as a union uh, combine the result as a union so if we want to have full outer join uh, we can uh, combine the right joins and the left joins which is the second part of the, this syntax and combine the result by the union you can see uh, that uh, we don't have any duplicated result here uh, because the union removes all the duplicates but if we apply union all where we can see some some of the result will be duplicated we already seen the result of the each section the right join and left join of the this sample example and by combining the union uh, by applying a union we combine the result of these two right and left joins together that you can see in this uh, small table so we are looking let's have one more example let's we are looking for the all information of the customers and orders so we can have uh, customers with uh, orders and orders with customers without orders and uh, orders without uh, customers so we can connect this to the similar way that we had based on the left and the right joins and uh, combine the result based on the union as you can see in this example so this union cuts remove uh, removes all the duplicates rows from the result so if in using the union we are not going to have a duplicated result in our search 
we have one more join the, which is a cross join um, in this cross join each rows of the table one is multiplied by the each rows of the table two so if table a has n rows and table b has a m rows we are gonna have n by m rows and uh, it this joins gives all the possible combination of the result that we have for example uh, <clears throat> we have a if we want to create a catalog that uh, list all the customer and product we can use this cross join uh, it's very important that it, uh, we pay attention to the type of, type of the join that we want to use for example uh, inner join right join left join and the combination of the right and left is uh, they provide a different information so it's very important we pay attention to the type of the joins that we want to apply here uh, we have a, uh, coming back to the sales order database we have uh, sales order and product tables that they are connected through the primary and foreign key so it's very important you understand each of the connection and get the information that required for example we are looking for the all the product names and the category description so product names and the categories you, you can see that the categories is here and the product is here so uh, we are looking for the product name and the category description so we can inner join the products and the categories to get them on the category id and we can get the uh, information of the uh, category of each product so we can write the product name and the category description from the inner joining the two tables of the product and the categories and the category so these are the more example that uh, we have so for example we are looking for the products that never have been ordered so let's back to the database so we are looking for the products that never have been ordered so <coughs> We are looking for the products so if we consider product as a one table and the orders and, uh, and uh, as another table so we are just looking for the products that exclude excluded in the order so basically we are uh, uh, looking for the left join so products uh, we can right we can join the product table with the order details then they are not the order the order number is null so basically this is a left join that exclude the inner joins so it's very important you pay attention to the question so that you can uh, get a correct answer um, also the <clears throat> there are more questions for the practice that you can learn how to combine different uh, tables together